Welcome back. Well, a lot to talk about on the weather scene, so let's get right to it. I wanted to show you where the current placement of that big air mass is, carrying all those Arctic temperatures right along with it. The area is in gray and purple. That's right where that cold, cold air mass is. So, of course, you can literally see the leading edge of that cold front right to the south of us. So, in other words, that cooler air has settled in and the flurries are a flying. Just check out that band of snow right now moving pretty much through the Palmer Divide region over toward Burlington. But that is expected to uh, grow as the evening progresses and a lot more widespread flurries as the night progresses. So, again, we're going to start out a little bit wide, but don't worry, we'll take into a tight view and show you what we're expecting for those accumulations. So, there's the leading edge of that cold front. Cold air is going to continue to settle into the region tonight, kicking off some snow right behind there. And we're looking at pretty decent accumulations out of this. And the purples you're seeing up here, that's the actual cold air following this front. I wanted to show you just where that's going to settle in. So, as we move into our Sunday morning, flurries are going to linger tomorrow morning. Expected to start dying down, though, about noon tomorrow. That's when things should start to dry up. Still remaining cold, though. Overnight lows, again, brisk tonight. And the coldest temperatures tomorrow are going to be into the high mountains for the most part and into the eastern plains. It's going to be a chilly one as the day progresses. By Sunday night, we're still looking at another cold one because that air mass is planted right over top of the state. But that will move out as Monday starts to wind around. So as for the snow accumulations, here's how things are playing out for us. The heaviest accumulations are going to be to the mountains in the southern portions of the state. We'll start things off near Monument, about five to eight inches depending on where you live. Live. Along I 25, probably closer to about four inches of accumulation. So your Sunday morning commute could get a little bit hairy. As we take you into the Springs region, three to five down here into the foothills, six to eight up into Teller County is what we're looking at. Woodland Park right about six to eight as well. As we take you a little bit further south into the Pueblo region, about two to five inches is where we're looking there. And a little bit further south, yeah. About eight, that should be 12 inches up into the mountains. So, some serious accumulation there. Three to six as we look into the southern portions just north of Trinidad there. As for lows tonight, single digits all across the board. Chilly, nearing a record tonight. I believe zero degrees was the record set. So, we might hit that if we go any lower than that three degree mark. Looking at the teens into the high country tonight. So, slightly warmer into the mountains. Highs tomorrow, looking at the 20s across the board, 22 and La Junta there, Lamar 24, 26 into the Springs, 27 into Pueblo, and the 30s into the mountains. So let's check out the next seven days. Here's how things are going to play out for us. There is hope in sight, I promise. So again, flurries lingering Sunday morning. Those are going to move out of the region fairly quickly, right around noon, providing sunny skies for the rest of the week, climbing up to the 40s. It's still kind of chilly overnight, looking at the 20s. Now, again, into Pueblo, we're looking at that 46 degree mark by Wednesday, possibly even hitting 50 by Tuesday, or by, excuse me, Thursday. But it's still, we, we got some serious snow to work out here. Now, Monday is going to take a little while to warm up. Reason for that, we're going to have quite a bit of snow on the ground. And believe it or not, evaporation, get this, evaporation, it's actually a cooling process. So that's what will keep temperatures a little bit cooler on Monday. Into Teller County, be better coverage on these storms again for Sunday morning. If you're heading out to church or breakfast tomorrow, plan some extra time because we're looking at some serious snow. And again, Hopefully the 40s to follow is how everything is trending out right now. So pretty darn nice forecast after that cold front moves out of the region. So we just got to get past that. Snow blowers will get a workout tomorrow, though. Yeah. Well, it's the, uh, you know, light snow, fluffy stuff. Yeah, we're so looking pretty good. fluffy. It's yeah. not going to be real heavy and dense, or at least that's not what it's looking like now. All so. right, good deal. Yeah. Well, Peyton Manning, the Broncos, glad they're not in town well, this weekend. Say, but, it's uh, too bad they're not playing in the snow, right? Yeah, I don't think, they, I don't <laughs> I think don't Peyton think Manning like would it. like that at yeah. all. Indoors but, uh, suits him just fine. Air Force, no problem there. Yeah, Air Force, 